welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name's Jason Newland and this is Relax and Sleep Hypnosis Daily. Thank you for listening and please remember to only listen when you can safely close your eyes. Please get yourself comfortable sitting in a comfortable chair which supports your body or lying on a flat surface such as a bed or a sofa or something like that. Now, we're going to do something a little bit different today. I say that as I itch, scratch my armpit, which I really didn't need to. I just sniffed it as well. That's weird. Really shouldn't, didn't need to share that with you. But um, this is going to be a nice light-hearted recording. And I'm going to ask you to do something. Just to visualize something. So I'll tell you what it's going to be in a minute. Um, so the point of this recording is simply another way to reduce your stress connected to uh, maybe something that's happened. Okay. So basically to, uh, if something, uh, it could be anything. It could be an unpleasant phone call. Uh, someone's been rude to you. Uh, something like that. So to do with a person, okay? An unpleasant person or a difficult person. And, you know, you might got home from work or from just being out to the shops and you're just sitting there and you're like, Arr. you know, it's just put you in a bad mood or you just feel anxious about the whole thing. Well, this is going to be something for such an occasion. Okay, so I don't know what I'm going to title this recording. Um, dealing with a difficult person, maybe something like that now I'd like you to think of something briefly something that's happened very recently either you know preferably today or yesterday um, which involves a difficult person now this could be a one off situation you know someone uh, was rude to you in a supermarket uh, or it could be like a regular ongoing person that you uh, have to deal with every day in your work. Or, you know, whether it's a customer or whether it's, you know, your boss or a colleague. It might be a family member. Yeah, it could be anything. It could be a neighbor. So there's lots of options or where... Uh, a difficult person may arise okay so this is I, I was gonna obviously let you choose somebody who you think of so think of that person now and notice the stress levels rise now I realize this is the opposite to what you want to be listening to this for but it's a temporary thing, you know, those stress rising, anxiety, it's a temporary feeling. It's just so that we can get in touch with the target of our intervention, okay? So you can scrub that off, let that go, let them drop down a well or whatever, fill a well up with concrete. So that, they're gone. So... I could have done that as a as part of the recording, couldn't I? Drop the difficult person down a well and fill the well with concrete and cement or something. Yeah, maybe in a different recording. In fact, try that now. Think of a difficult person. Someone, and they really, when you think about the person, you actually get a feeling of like, oh, yeah, 
a scale of 0 to 10 on the Richter scale of annoyance, there may be, you know, 6 plus. So as you focus on that person, imagine they're standing up straight and all you do is touch them on the end of the nose. Just tap them on the nose gently and they become as stiff as a board and as light as cardboard. And you pick them up under your arm, walk out into the garden, to the well, an open well, and you just tip them upside down and let them drop to the bottom of the well. And then you put the nozzle where the concrete is, the cement is going to pour out, just move it to the, to the, you know, the top of the well and just press the on button, bang, and watch that cement just pour into that well. Now in some ways that's quite an aggressive thing to do, but it's imagination, it's not real, okay? You've not really poured, poured them down, a, uh, pushed them down a well and covered them in cement. But how do you feel about that person now? Where's the anxiety and stress and tension connected to that person now? When you think about them. Changes it, doesn't it? Changes. So, this one's going to be a bit more light-hearted than that one. You know, no murder, no murder involved in this one. So, I want you to think of that person. And what we're going to do is take a snapshot of them in your mind and then move away get rid of all the background move away to a blank screen and you're going to put that snapshot just of that person on the blank white screen now first of all what we're going to do is we're going to sh make them shorter but as they get shorter, they get wider. So they might be slim, but as you shorten them, they suddenly become fat and bulging out of their waist because you're shrinking them. They may already be big, so you're shrinking them out, they're getting even bigger. Next, what we're going to do is change what they're wearing. So what would be the most ridiculous costume or uniform that you could put on this person? I mean, I, could, I would say maybe a clown outfit, but clowns aren't as popular as I thought they were. Uh, so maybe not a clown outfit. Maybe dress them up as a nun. Again, nuns are quite scary, so um, dress them up as... A teapot? I don't know. Whatever. So dress them up how you want to dress them. Maybe in bondage gear. Maybe dress them up um, like a swan or like Batman. Okay. And now you're going to give them a funny hat. Some weird kind of hat. What kind of hat can you give them? Think of the most stupidest hat possible. And that goes on their head, regardless of how you dress them. That will go on the top of their head. Now we need to look at the shoes. What kind of shoes are you going to give them? Maybe you give them skis. Maybe you give them high heels. Maybe big fluffy bunny slippers. So whatever you want, just you know, do that. And then what we're going to do is change how they physically look in their face. 
So you can make their ears bigger, their nose longer, fatter. You can have their eyes tiny or massive, cross-eyed, uh, glasses, give them a big beard. Um, you could put a beard with poo coming off it, whatever. Whatever you want. I don't know if you want poo color. You know, I'm just saying, it's this is your image that you're making of that person. What else could you do? You could give them a little voice. I don't know, if whatever the name, let's say the name's Roy. Right? My name is Roy. Something like that. Hello, how are you? Oh, my name is Roy. My name is Roy. Hey, how are you today? You know, anything. Any kind of weird voice that you want to add. It would just be like... Something like that. Um, I need to stop now, otherwise I get carried away. Literally, I will be carried away back to the uh, <laughs> to the unit I that I used to live. So yeah, um, what else could you do? So you change their face, change what they're wearing, put a funny hat on them, funny shoes or footwear, uh, give them a silly voice, and oh yeah, just imagine that every two seconds they're farting. And you can physically see the fart because it's big, green, smelly, um, almost like a big steam coming out of his bum. So that could be like, like that, constantly. Okay. So what I want you to do is... You've got that now imprinted in your brain. You've got that memory, haven't you? It's just a picture. So I'd like you to think of that person and the last incident you had with them, the last interaction that was unpleasant that you had with that person. Okay, and just notice how you feel. And now I want you to see that person on a bigger screen. Just see them and see that other version of them walking up to them. And hitting them with a hammer. A big old hammer, like a proper, you know, circus kind of act. You know, they hit them on the hammer, boing, like that. And then running around and jumping around and jumping on their head like an arcade game not violent it's just fun family fun jumping up and down on his head until he's in the ground like he's like literally being pushed into the ground like a cartoon and then right at the end as he as he jumps right down and the person's head's now all in the ground. And the whole body's gone into the ground like a big stiff nail. He looks at you. And gives a big cheesy smile. And by cheese, I mean when he smiles, cheese actually falls out of his mouth. So just want just, and then that's the end of that. So just, just notice how you feel different about that person so you can just you know blank the screen completely and now just think about that person how do you feel different compared to how you felt before just thinking about them What's changed? So yeah, just notice how it feels now. And I'll leave you there. So thank you for listening. All the best.
Podcast. Bye.